most on welcome to feedback friday it is april 5 yes it's april 5 2024 hope everybody is doing well today hello matt good morning to you as well aaron so excited for school of source you're, you're in luck we're going to take a peek at the school today get a first look at the school of sorcery i'm excited too kdm hello welcome on in tyler yx thank you for the well wishes i hope you're having yourself a wonderful morning as well <laughs> yx asking the important questions nothing yx is the answer yeah well today we're going to take a look at the school of sorcery give a little bit of what to expect when you get to enroll. We'll take a look at some of the rewards as well. Uh, maybe a quick little refresher on the M1000. That's uh, gonna be activated in the not too distant future as well. And to help me out, I've got Norm and I've got Jacob. I think they're both gonna be going to school today. So maybe we should take some attendance. What do we think? Uh, you know, uh, hold on, I'm just gonna take some attendance. Uh, Dev, Norm, are you, are you here? Say aye. Present. Present. He's present. Uh, Dev Jacob, are, are you present? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. Everybody's here. Awesome. Well, we can dive in a little bit to the School of Sorcery. It releases on April 23. That'll be here before you know it. That is, uh, you know, part of the, the uh, Egg Hunt final shutdown. Uh, and the M1000 will come out right before the School of Sorcery as well. So it's kind of an exciting end to April. Uh, a couple good things to keep in mind here. We even went over this on a previous Feedback Friday. The map piece is going to be dropped by the M1000 mouse. But if doing very difficult maps is not your cup of tea, fret not. You can also purchase it from the Beanstalk Cartographer. And Norm, maybe a good question for you. Do you know how much the map piece is going to cost from the Beanstalk uh, Cartographer? Yeah. It's going to be 1 million gold and 1,000 golden goose eggs. And now that I've said it, I'm going to... Fantastic. So if you're not, you know, if you're not quite sure whether hunting the M1000 is for you or not, you can make sure that you have everything you need to buy the map piece. Basically, on the day the school opens up, you'll be able to get the map piece uh, immediately. You also need adventure completion. Is that correct, Norm? Uh, yeah, I was just going to say that's the only uh, other thing. Yeah, you need adventure completion. Were there a few people? I'm quiet. Are you able to turn me up, Dave? Uh, here, let's we'll see here. I got you cranked all the way up. Let me see. We're going to have to do it. Uh, oh, you know what? Hold on. Norm, I think technical difficulties. Try speaking now, Norm. Check, check, check. Sound check. I bet you Norm's coming in loud and clear now, isn't he? Am I loud and clear? Our attendance joke was lost. Uh, so no. can, can you believe it or not? We may have to go back to technical training school because <laughs> did you know if you mute the person yeah, that yeah. people will not be able to hear them? Wait, what? Was I muted? Yeah, like, actually that's muted how that works. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Much oh, better. Man. Oh, well. well, take two. Norm, good question for you. We won't redo yes. the cheesy joke of taking school <laughs> attendance. We'll just assume everyone Aww. knew knew what we we're going for there but it was a good joke i'm so sorry that everyone missed it it was so good was rock so good. we worked really hard on that yeah. yeah how much will the map piece cost at the beanstalk cartographer the map piece will cost one million gold one thousand golden goose eggs and you need to have completed the beanstalk adventure fantastic there we go that probably came through a lot more clear now that uh, norm isn't muted here people could hear it yeah mm-hmm <laughs> Uh, another important thing to keep in mind, something you can be prepping ahead of the school as well, are the sh are the power types. And now I sure don't know the power types, Norm. Do you know what power types you're going to be using uh, at School Sorcery? That is great. Yes, it is Shadow and Arcane. Both will be used equally in the School of Sorcery. Yeah. And you'll be uh, enrolling in the Shadow Sciences and Arcane Arts are the two courses that you can advance through. You can arm different types of cheese to increase your spell force. That's how you'll be going through the courses and you hunt your way through these course levels to find more loot the further you progress. Is that correct? That is correct, yep. Yeah, the further you go, the more you get. Just like in real school. Wait, who is the teacher and who's the student here? Well, it depends how, you, how well you perform in the area. <laughs> yeah, actually the student can be as, uh, you know, out, out, outdo the teacher, I guess. Uh, another good note too as well, so April 16, 
which am I remembering correctly is at the um when the shutdown for the spring egg hunt begins, correct? That's yep. Okay. That's correct. I'm I'm using dates from memory. This is dangerous. On April 16, the April, the spring egg hunt will begin its shutdown phase and the M1000 will be activated so you'll be able to hunt the M1000 if you've been stockpiling some cheese from the maps that you've been able to to get. It'll be at the table of contents as where you'll hunt the M1000 and the table of contents is also going to see a new base added. Uh, what can you tell us about that base, Norm? Uh, yeah, so it is, uh, I believe we call it just the Folklore Printing Press Base. Um, it will have identical stats and functionality to the Naughty List uh, Printing Press Base, but obviously this one is not LE. Um, yeah, and you can purchase from the table of contents. I'm pretty sure it's in the uh, the farm of the pond as well, but for, for the same cost. Um, yeah, so you'll be able to purchase that, and I believe you can, uh, <clears throat> I think in a little bit, you're going to sh show it off. Uh, in, but yeah, you purchase it with gold and with uh, Nobel Prizes. Yeah, and I think do yeah, I have 20, the cost? 20 million gold, 5,000 prizes. All right, I got the cost right. Fantastic, yeah. So, hey, if you have the Naughty List printing press base and you're not a, interested in collecting bases, then you do get to save 5,000 Nobel prizes, 20 million gold. Uh, you know, if you don't have that base from the last Great Winter Hunt, you'll be able to pick it up uh, from the uh, table of contents in the pond and the farm as well. That's correct. Is that a good little segue into rewards? Should we take a look at some of the other rewards? So the, the folklore printing press base will be in those original three years, but in the school itself, there's some other things to be purchased and to the student go the spoils. Uh, there's another new base. I guess there'll be two new bases over the course of a week. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell us sure, about yeah. the Sorcerer Sapphire Refractor base? Um, well, it's it's beautiful for one thing. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm sure Jacob uh, illustrated it on Feedback Friday a long, long, long time ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you can see from the stats, it's quite powerful. Thirty luck, twenty five hundred power, twenty percent power bonus. Um, it's also got a decent attraction bonus too. I have to look that up. But um, oh yeah, there it is. <clears throat> and. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very powerful. So it it um, it will require ownership of the ruby base. So you know you'll have you need the the jewel base to buy the ruby base. You need the ruby base to buy the sapphire base. So it's you know all part of the same line of refractor bases. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, you know it's it's probably one of the more stretchy goals of the area. But it's uh, it's a useful one for sure. Come on, so, uh, big upgrade over the ruby. Mm -hmm. So another good preparation you can make if you're looking to pick up the base. Keep in mind you have to own the ruby base as well. So if you haven't picked that up from the yes. beanstalk, uh, you can kind of maybe see where we're starting to go with the bases being upgraded uh, as they go. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to the base, there's six other exciting things that have the images up there as well. There's some new codices as well. And uh, there's three different power types, uh, one for power and one for luck. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell us about the stats? Actually, I got it up on the screen here as well. But Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, as, as you mentioned, there's a so two two codices for each power type. Uh, so like an arcane luck, arcane power, etc. Um, the luck ones give you a plus five luck, and the power give you a, a twenty percent power bonus. So and uh, they work everywhere in Narnia. And they look and as a, fantastic. As I'm sure you can guess, this was sort of the uh, impetus for our. Uh, um, improving the uh, codex interface on the HUD, we sort of got to the point where, like, well, we're adding a bunch of these things. It's about time we gave them their their proper due and, and visibility. You know, so now it'll be nice and easy to see when these things are working for you, and then also to, you know, you can see the hints of it, the ones you don't have, where you can find them. Yeah, I think uh, Jacob, you did you mm -hmm. illustrated the scroll case. I got the scroll case on there as well with the. I did, yeah. Uh, for the M one thousand, you you did that on a Feedback Friday art, right? Did I? I, ooh, now I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't know, actually, now that you mention it. I'm failing this pop quiz. It all blurs um, together a little bit. Yeah, no, it does, actually. Also, yeah, there was a number of illustrations that that kind of were in a similar vein you, at that time. So. You did the mouse a couple of times. The mouse I did. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if, you if I shared the map yeah, scroll okay. at the time, though. Yeah, I think I, was, I think it was a little more lock and key at the time. Oh, maybe mm -hmm. me, I was thinking, though. Okay. Let, let me look at the chat. They'll let me know. I did. Yeah. Okay, thank <laughs> there you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> when in doubt, don't ask us. I mean, Crowdsourced yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> at least not me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Nathan was asking a question about the scroll case. Uh, I think we, are, we already shared that the, you'll be able to get 
M1000 team expeditions roll cases from the School of Sorcery. But right now, you know, Norm, correct me if I'm wrong, there's no plan to add that scroll case to any other Folklore Forest location, correct? No, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it'll, it'll just be from the School of Sorcery. Um, you'll be using resources from the School of Sorcery to purchase it. Um, and I believe it also requires adventure completion to do so, adventure completion of the School of Sorcery. But yeah, it'll be a permanent uh, addition to the School of Sorcery. So, you know, going forward, if you ever want to hunt the M1000, your journey will begin in the School of Sorcery. Yeah, which, you know, make it a pretty important area where you, you start that M1000 being tied to the aura as well, uh, which in case you weren't here last time, there's a little refresher on the M1000. Uh, be released on, what's the date in April, Norm? <laughs> uh, the uh, the M1000 comes out on April 16th. 16, okay. That's Same day that uh, Spring Uncut shuts down. So here's a quick little rundown. We shared this on Last Feedback Friday as well. So you collect the thousandth draft derby. You're going to hunt at the table of continents. You have to be writing. You arm it. The only mouse you encounter is the M1000. It's worth just over a million points. And it'll drop a number of kilohertz processors, which will be a new item. You can almost think of them like the Cursed Skulls from the Boiling Cauldron event or the you know, previous Halloween events where you smash a Cursed Skull and it gives you the spooky aura. The processors are the same thing. They're in your inventory. You activate them and they grant you... Uh, some aura so you know there's a quick little rundown as well as the millennial aura which will give you a 30 percent power bonus and plus 10 luck as well so you know you combine this with some of these new codices as well and you'll get a pretty good buff on your trap i think uh, i saw frank bus. asking how to get the ruby base because mm -hmm. we're saying that was one way to get prepared for the school of sorcery because it'll be a requirement to get the sapphire base uh and that's in the beanstalk right norm uh, yeah, it's in the Beanstalk. I can look up the cost for you here. But yeah, so in the Beanstalk, um, you can buy it from the Trapsmith. It costs 17 million gold, um, 3,000 golden goose eggs, uh, a couple other just sort of fun thematic things. That's like 100 rubies. Um, and you need to have completed the Beanstalk adventure, and you need to own the original Empyrean Refractor base. Yeah, it's a nice little line of bases. Uh, each individual mm -hmm. one might be getting a little bit harder to obtain and when you're going back and you look at your bat, your previous journey and you add up the you know getting each and every base it'll be quite the feat i think it's yeah it's a, it's a journey for sure and uh, we're, like we're not at the destination yet yeah. uh someone asking how big will the folklore force with how big the folklore force is getting will be more opportunities to earn condensed creativity can you get condensed creativity in the school of sorcery uh yep yep there are some mice to drop it in there yep absolutely Daniel. I'm pretty sure every, every area of the Focal Force has some mice that drop it, and uh, yeah, the School of Sorcery is no exception. Mm -hmm. okay. and Daniel asking uh, a question too. What, what happened to the marketplace? We're just doing a little bit of maintenance. We're looking into a bit of an issue. Uh, even you may have noticed uh, the, the game would be up and down a little bit, and so I think there's some configuration we need to tweak from the, when, the maintenance we did on Wednesday as well. So kind of thanks for your patience. Bear with us. Uh, but the, the team is looking into that, and that's definitely going to go back on the priority list once we wrap up here, actually, too. So mm -hmm. It's not working. I did, oh, I didn't actually change the message. So there was a little confusion. It says the marketplace is currently unavailable, and actually I did mean to change the message to be a little bit uh, less ambiguous. Unfortunately, I can't change it on mobile, uh, but it is intentionally down. So we've disabled the marketplace. All your items are still tucked away there. When it comes back up, you'll be it'll be just a, the way you left it as well. It's just we're doing a little bit of maintenance on it. Uh, what else can we go over? We went over the base, the codices, uh, the you'll be able to get M1000 team research scrolls, uh, the team expedition yeah, scroll cases from the cartographer there, and it'll be a new source of prolific printing paper as well. Uh, and I guess that's going to be probably purchased with a new item, eh, Norm? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. So far, every area in the folklore forest is selling prolific printing paper for uh, a different resource, one that's relative to the area. So, uh, yeah, as um, I'm sure you can sort of guess that this this uh, the cost of this will be the the sorcerer sapphires. Some sapphires. Uh, Jasmine asking if the ruby base will be consumed when you purchase the sapphire base. No, it will not. You get to you get to keep them all. Yeah, so it's just a requirement. It won't uh, be lost 
you typically nowadays, you know, there's obviously some old areas that work a little bit differently, but you only have to lose the trap and you have to smash it. If it's like a physical upgrade that you're crafting yourself, then you're going to lose the trap because you got to smash it down into its components and build a bigger and better version of it. Uh, whereas through the trap smith, uh, the trap smith just wants to see that you know how to harness that amount of power before they'll entrust you with an even more powerful base. So it's just uh, a requirement, uh, but you don't lose it in the process. Well, shall we take this thing for a test spin? What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Field trip. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> How many school puns can we work at, eh? Um, all right, great. Well, where do we went? I'm in the table of contents. So do, do we want to hunt the M1000? Do we want to start there? I yeah, I think we should start with that. Show, show off what that's going to look like. Yeah. Actually, Super asking a very important question meant to go over. Are we getting any new traps or just the codices? Uh, no, just everything we showed in the in the previous slide for the rewards, those are the rewards for the area. There won't be any new traps in the School of Sorcery. Just the base. Yeah. This is, this yeah, is they're just the base and then the six codices, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only little asterisk on that, it will be the folklore printing press base, but that won't be in the School of Sorcery, but that'll kind of come out. Yeah. Uh, at the same time. Yeah, that'll actually come out on the 16th with the uh, M1000 Vivation. Oh, fantastic, cool. And that will, might be a handy piece of equipment for hunting the M1000, which let's go try to yeah. give that a go here. <laughs> yeah, the uh, M1000 some, is no lightweight. I need some cheese here. I'm going to open up a solo chest. Let's open up a few solo chests. I'm going to open up three of them. So. And you might notice that the uh, the Thousand Thraft Derby is on the HUD in the table of contents, um, or will be as of April 16th, once you've owned any of it. So it'll be uh, yeah, just see. as easy to arm as it, as the other Draft Derby cheeses. Yeah, you can choose to arm it when you start writing. And I probably shouldn't be using this Ultimate Agent Charm, but let's see what happens. Uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. That'll be interesting. My journal's gray. <laughs> I think I need to use a better charm. Now, one, I won't yeah. click there. I don't want to uh, we'll wait to see if you want to see the artwork yourself here. <laughs> I might, might switch things up a little bit. Let's get a better setup going. Let's just try that. Uh-oh. Now, remember, you can, yeah, you can use any power type. Yeah, I'm a, on a bit of a delay from what I'm seeing, but I see you already got that. There you go. And just for fun, let's go ahead and activate a processor. So much like the spooky, or not the, the cursed skull that gives you the spooky aura, you get to choose when to activate it. Uh, and each one gives you one hour, correct, Norm? That's correct, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just like every other aura in the game, too, the time stacks. So you can just activate it one at a time to keep adding an hour. You could activate 10 of them to get 10 hours of aura. Kind of depends on how long you think you're going to be hunting some, some big game. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's great for situational use. It's very very convenient for that. That was the, you know, but you can still get large quantities at once depending on how you uh, how you do in the table of contents mm -hmm. here. So shall we head on over to the school? Now that I got a millennial aura going. Yeah, there you go. That's probably uh, probably a good start. All right, let's start with our. Oh, actually, game. do you want to uh, do you want to show off the trap the uh, the trap smith of the um, table of contents? Yeah, sure. To see the the base, the folklore printing press base. So here is the folklore printing press base. So you say this will come out on the sixteenth with the M one thousand. That's correct. Yep. Yeah. And these are the same stats as the naughty list base, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Swift thinking about using an ultimate charm, not a bad idea. Those come in handy sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want it to really might count. Also, might also want to pop that uh, the aura right away. Catch more. That's true. You can use the aura to get aura. Yeah. When you get the first one, you can activate the ore to help you get the next one. Mm -hmm. uh, here, Jacob, I'll bring you up here because we'll, well, okay. probably a couple mice might pop up here. There's one, mm -hmm. I think. Did you do the hall monitor on a Feedback Friday? I did do the yes. hall monitor on the Feedback Friday. I that was, I believe, the first of the set 
uh, yep. that everyone got to witness, and they got to dub one of the characters in there as well. Mm -hmm. Deborah the Safety Lizard. Uh oh, my camera froze. Uh oh, I just look like I'm about to sneeze or something. Hold on, let's <laughs> see if we can. Nope, that's the uh -oh. end of me. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's a good look, you know. Mm -hmm. Little little blue steel, kind of. <laughs> just... You'll just you'll just have to appreciate <laughs> Jacob's beauty here and not mine <laughs> for, for the rest of this here. <laughs> it's just me or Dave's. Right. Yeah, and it always if your camera's gonna freeze, yeah, it, it freezes in just the most flattering yeah. moments. I, I I like to think. Yeah. Uh, well, so this isn't too much of a, you know, so a few spoilers might be ahead if you're the type of hunter who likes to be surprised as things come out. So, you know, mm -hmm. spoiler alert here. But this was on uh, Feedback Friday, and I thought this was a pretty darn cute and whimsical mouse. What did you say the name of uh, the hall monitor's pet there is? Deborah the Safety Lizard. Deborah dragon. The safety lizard. Dragon. Safety dragon. Yeah. Safety dragon, yeah. Safety dragon. I guess that makes more sense, huh? Mm -hmm. Got the dragon wings and all. Mm. I love the vest. That's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Listen, if, if we're being graded on our, like, answering quick quiz questions, I think Norm <laughs> is uh, acing it, and I'm, I got the F. Uh, hey, hey, asking about uh, traps you could earn. Well, we do want to leave a little bit of room for the next area as well, which might not be too... Uh, too far into the distance from now or too far into the future so you can probably expect traps with the next area that follows the school of sorcery uh, and the school of sorcery might help you get ready to, to tackle that area a little bit mm -hmm. well, that's the plan that uh that's the sapphire base i'm sure will help yeah uh, shall we take the arcane arts are you ready to enroll let's do it ready to pay your tuition norm <laughs> uh, <laughs> non-refundable yeah <laughs> we have the trusty droids back in action I love the little animation going in mm -hmm. if somebody's asking how many mice are in the school of sorcery Ooh, that's a great that's question, a question. Let me look that up. I feel like I know mm -hmm. I'm going to double check. So look here. Uh, That's the face of some There are mice. 28 mice. Is that right? Yeah. Yep, looks like there are 28 mice. It's enough to kick us over a thousand. Mm hmm. So we're working our way through the levels of the courses. We're studying the arcane arts. And we're getting a little bit more loot here, aren't we, Norm, as we kind of progress through the levels of the courses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you might notice that uh, each master that uh, you defeat takes you to a new level where, yeah, the mice are, are each dropping a higher quantity of loot. How far can you go in your educational journey? Shall we use a little bit better cheese? I can craft some. Um, yeah, and well, the cheese that? you use also determines which uh, what your loot drops are. Matt's asking if the golden quill will help you here. Uh, it does not. No, there's no there's no interaction with the with the golden quill in this area. I can't think yeah, of an indirect way. It had a pretty big way. effect on the beanstalk. It might help you get more golden goose eggs, which may help you get some prolific printing <laughs> paper if you want to use that base here. Oh, that's true. I mean, there's, there's certainly an indirect effect. Absolutely. I mean, it's uh, I think it, it's affecting the beanstalk for me at least is is definitely worth it um, mm -hmm. you know so yeah and it, it will certainly indirectly help you having it yeah the animations are pretty awesome 
Uh, a is asking about what are the wands in the bottom and I mean we've talked about spell force a little bit so you could imagine there's probably a few ways that you can increase your spell force. Mm -hmm. If that's an okay way of putting things. Yeah. We gotta leave some surprises. Mm -hmm. We're hunting our way through an arcane arts. Are you using better cheese? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> we're gonna say we're gonna use some master cheese here. Hey, hey, asking how do I buy the codices? Do we dare show the trap smith here, or do we let people explore that on their own later? Well, the codices are in the general store, um, but yeah, I mean that, that's really all there is to it. You go to the general store and you can you uh, buy them with the sapphires. Now I don't know if it's really worth showing the cost because it's not going to mean a whole lot until you have an idea mm -hmm. of how many of these things you can get. Um, but yeah, the the, uh, the base obviously comes from the trapsmith, and the codices come from the general store. Someone asked, "Is the animation the same on the mobile app?" Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. The uh, front end developers did an amazing job mm -hmm. putting these these uh, these two huts together. It it's pretty incredible. Very proud of it. Um, yeah, and and uh, the the background illustrations, which I believe are Lauren. Yep. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right. That's there's correct. some there's some fun surprises in there. Lots of but, awesome uh, details. Oh man. Yeah. So yeah, really 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 cool little uh, Easter eggs. Yeah, the, uh, the, the speedy horn doesn't necessarily do that animation justice. If it's fast yeah. enough, it kind of cancels itself out. But uh, mm -hmm. had a lot of fun developing that. There's, there's some layers to it. Oh, yeah. People absolutely. are asking uh, what the numbers on the stool are for, the, the plinths. Know if we wanna... Those are uh, your spell force. So you have a spell force, and the master also has a spell force. Your spell force is pushing forward, your your beam, your magical beam, and the master's spell force is pushing back against your magical beam. So like a bit of a tug-of-war kind of situation? A bit of a tug-of-war, yeah. And the further you go, the harder it gets, because the more they push back. Well, shall we try? So that's a pretty good. We did the arcane arts, and there were the shadow sciences. That's another course to be taken. And there was another door that was locked that said final exam as well. But we might let hunters figure out the best way to make it to the final exam. Yeah, I think that we don't want to like left us give them the the cheat kind of answers to the test ahead of time. You know, they gotta they gotta take the the exam themselves. I imagine. Absolutely. Yeah, again, too, to clarify, we got the rewards here. There, There's a, a new base, new codices for Arcane Shadow and Forgotten. But no, there is no new trap to earn at the School of Sorcery. Uh, it's kind of something we're keeping in the back pocket for the area that will come after the School of Sorcery as well. Kind of spread out some of that stuff. Yeah, and then the codices are quite powerful. So they, mm -hmm. they will augment, I mean, you basically, you could, it's almost like having three new traps in a way with, with how much power they augment uh, each of those power types by. Yeah. And with the M1000 scroll case available, that's another avenue of kind of like pumping up your base. So. Mm -hmm. And that uh, those folk, uh, those forgotten codices will come in quite handy when hunting the M1000. You, mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. know, switch to final draft to bring your volume up or whatever. Will be uh, helpful having that plus five lock and twenty percent power bonus against the Mythweaver. So no direct physical traps or well whatever power type traps, but no direct traps, but lots of, lots of tools coming from to this To make area. your traps better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the cool thing about those is they carry uh, to kind of various power types and, and locations, potentially, so. Yeah, yeah it's, a, mm -hmm. it's upgrades for basically three of your best traps, your best uh of those three power types it's basically the same as getting an upgrade and you can take anywhere and uh, you'll have it forever as well as you get better traps yep. of those power types these codices will keep applying that that bonus on it mm -hmm. and who knows maybe there'll be even more codices to come we'll have to wait and see 
Uh, so we're asking if School of Sorcery maps will be part of the initial release, the M1000 Team Expedition will, but normally we're planning to add a different type of map a little later, right? Oh yeah, we'll we'll have a, a location specific map a little bit later on, just like we usually do. Release the area and let people get familiar with it for a bit, and then uh, you know, we'll have, you you know, have a map come out you know, shortly after release, relatively shortly. Hey, hey, has the perfect segue into trivia here. Oh, I have a question. All right, so if you had one train leaving from the Nanyan Express station heading north at 65 kilometers an hour and a train heading south from Froma at 82 kilometers an hour, how long will it take for the two trains to meet? Dave. Uh, how long will it take you to figure out the answer to the question? <laughs> but then the answer keeps changing. <laughs> the answer is Froma doesn't have a train station or track, so oh. they won't. And I'm going to say a train a can't track. leave north either from yeah, the train station. the tracks don't leave north from that station. So. Mm. It kind of can, mean, but then in, it just goes to the claw shot into the side of the mountain range. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Well, it's coming to, I hope the brakes work. Otherwise, yeah, that's going to be a pretty big mess there on Claw Shot City. <laughs> well, Hey Hey had a pretty good segue into the trivia, and... It's not just a trivia, actually. It's a pop quiz this week. Mm. I'm still frozen right mm. there. I'll just take myself off the screen. Which prestige level is the Sorcerer's Sapphire base equivalent to? So pop quiz to see if you're paying attention when we're looking at the stats of the Sorcerer's Sapphire base. I believe A. Swift got it right with 48. It's equivalent to prestige 48. <clears throat> That's not true. That's not true at <laughs> all. That's a pretty high prestige. Daniel with 99. That's high. <laughs> I think that's literally impossible. Oh, I think we did, uh, at some point, we did the theoretical run where it was unlimited ultimate charms and the only mouse you encountered was the terrified adventure. And I forget what prestige we got to, but oh. that was the theoretical oh, yeah, max, right. right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get any more than that. So there is a maximum. There is There's a, a hard maximum. Max. Yeah. How big of a number do we need to store in that column? Pew Pew, I think, had the answer correct first of uh, 12.5. You needed some mm -hmm. decimal precision here. <laughs> 12 and a half. Some studious hunters here. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was quick. That was quick. I'll put that link in the chat as well. Asking for... People are asking, are there ways to get condensed creativity in the School of Sorcery? And there are a few mice that drop it in there. But here's another source of condensed creativity is from Larry the Friendly Knight. If you click yeah, that there link. we go. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Larry. He's a friendly guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, potatoes questioning whether you can do a half eclipse or not. It does, it sits between the stats, at least as far as the luck <laughs> goes, a norm of, of twelve and thirteen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, even the power as well fits right in the middle there. Okay. Yeah, 30 luck. Yeah, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think the ruby base was about prestige 10 and a half. Yeah. No rift set bonus so. on the yeah on the sapphire mm -hmm. base, whereas the prestige yeah. base does have the rift set bonus on it. That makes a big difference. Yeah, that 40 percent that, that helps a lot. Marine asking if the arcane codex from the Valor Rift were, will work in the School of Sorcery. Absolutely. Absolutely. It works everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere that you can use an arcane trap. And likewise for the shadow. Definitely worth having. Mm hmm What floor is 12.5? Would that be 12.5 times 8? Is that how that works? Uh, times yeah, 10? that's how that works. Yeah. No, there's eight. There's eight floors per prestige, right? Yes. Now we're getting into our different pop quiz, Valorif <laughs> pop quiz. Yeah. Yeah, and Castle's got the the math right there. The uh, if you hit the thirteenth prestige, so the thirteenth total eclipse, then it's thirty one luck, and this base has thirty. So mm -hmm. if you've gotten to prestige twelve or lower, this base will be better. If you've gotten to thirteen or higher, this base won't be as good. But it will continue to lead to potential new unlocks as uh, as things keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this journey isn't finished yet. 
Swift asking, which of the rewards takes the longest to get? Do you want to share anything mm -hmm. with that, Norm? Um, <laughs> sure. Yeah, you can yeah. share that. Let me just double check it, though. I'm kind of working on these two areas at once. I've got a lot of different numbers in my head right now. <laughs> Let's see here. I believe, pretty sure it is the base. Yeah, the base takes the longest. Uh, I mean, it's the longest individual item. I guess technically all the codices combined would take longer than the one base. But, um, yeah, the base is the single item that takes the longest. And Aaron, you know, an interesting question, but rest assured the, the codices all stack. There are their own individual items so that they won't replace your Valorift ones. Like Just like every other codex in the game, when you own it, it does something, and, it, and that's what it does. Mm -hmm. It's like you've gained a new ability. Your stats are permanently buffed. Or as long as you own that codex, it does its thing, and if you buy another codex, as long as you don't have to spend the codex, I guess, if something removed it from your inventory, it would stop working. But I, I don't think we yeah, have anything where you spend just, the codex. No, I, I, don't, I don't ever want to do that. I, I, I will fight that idea. <laughs> it never comes up. <laughs> sounds, um, sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, but that's again like that's where the, the whole the new codex interface on the HUD yes. will you know makes that really clear. Like you get to see this new book along with the old books from the Valor Rift. You know they're all side by side working for working hard for you. Mm -hmm. If there were ever anything to consume codices, I would imagine it would just like combine it into one or something like that. At 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 most, never take it away yeah. really. There was a question about um there will be a journal team for the school of sorcery we currently don't have one but you know maybe that's something we could consider for when we do a location map for it yeah i'm sure I'm interesting sure thing there mm -hmm. yeah ryan asking about condensed creativity in the general store and there are no plans to add that and we've got uh you know we're, we're kicking around some different ideas of where we might want to go with that but some areas you can some areas you can't and the Folklore Forest is an area where you, you, you can't buy that item from the general store. Mm. So was there a 2023 Lucky Codex? There sure was. And if you if you were able to get it from the Winter Hunt, um, or I guess 2023, you won't see that one anymore. But you can check your uh, inventory under the new overhauled uh, Codex spot in your inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the Codex uh, interface will show you which ones are, are active and working for you. The 2023 one doesn't work anymore. So it's a, it's a, I believe a vintage item now, yes. if I'm not mistaken. So you could click active codices at the bottom there if you have one active, and there'll be active collected and uncollected, and you can still see which one you've collected from there. But it stops providing its bonus once that year comes to an end, and then usually there's a new version of it that winter hunt to earn. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Castle asking if the base is required to buy the codices. Uh, nope, no, nope, no connection there. They're separate rewards, so you can, you know, buy those in whichever order you want, depending on what's uh, most relevant to you. You know, if you're if you're coming in with the ruby base, and you know, maybe you want to get the sapphire base first to help you in the area, but then again, the arcane and shadow codices will also help you in the area. So it's just whatever 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 path makes sense for you. Well, shall we wrap things up? We covered the trivia. We covered the rewards. Mm -hmm. We took a look at the school mm -hmm. of sorcery. My camera froze. It's been an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here I am. I'll just leave myself up there. I think, for all we know, my camera hasn't frozen, yeah. and I just sit like that, perfectly <laughs> still. That's, that's my concentration. That's what, I, that's what I assumed. That's what I assumed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. So we can kind of recap everything we went over again. April 23 is when the School of Sorcery will open up. But before then, on April 16, you can look forward to hunting the M1000, which will drop the map piece. Uh, that said, hey, if uh, doing very difficult maps is not your speed, uh, then when the school is released on April 23, you'll be able to buy that map piece from the cartographer uh, immediately. So you can still go on the first day the school opens up. You'll just have to make sure you have everything you need to buy that map piece. You're going to need a good shadow and a good arcane trap, both, 
to make it far in the school of sorcery so that's something good to prepare uh, and we just came, just touched base a little bit to show how you're going to be going through these courses arm different cheese to increase your spell force a few other ways to increase your spell force as well to hunt through course levels find more and more loot uh, to get those sapphires to unlock the various rewards including a new base six new codices uh, a permanent source for the M1000 Team Research Expedition scroll case as well. Everyone could get one basically for free during the Spring Egg Hunt if you unlocked all the shelves of Lady Laura's shop. Uh, but then once mm -hmm. Easter and the Spring Egg Hunt is in the rearview mirror, this will be how you can forever get the M1000 Team Expedition scroll cases. So they'll forever be available at the School of Sorcery. So, you know, they're not a limited edition scroll case, nothing like that. No pressure to finish those maps. During the Spring Egg Hunt, uh, they're not really anything to do with that event. It's just everybody got one for free from the event. And uh, finally, a new source of prolific printing paper as well as something to take note of as well. Uh, one thing I, I, I want to clarify uh, as well about the map piece is that even after uh, the 23rd, when the school is first released, uh, the M1000 will always drop that map piece. Um, now, obviously, you can only get it once, so you either get it from the M1000 or you get it from the Beanstalk, but even after the area releases, you could still get it from the M1000, as long as that's, you didn't have it yet, anyway. So that's uh, that won't go away on the 23rd. That'll just be something that, if that's the path you take, you can you can get it from, from there instead of the, uh, the Beanstalk. Yeah, you can hold on to your scroll case, or a very niche journey for a new player coming up through the ranks would be to get invited to an M1000 map, get some cheese, and then as an Archduke, no, yeah, as an Archduke, that's the table, table, of, no, it's Viceroy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, no, the, the table of contents is Archduke, so okay. you could technically get the map piece, you just wouldn't be able to, you, you'd, you'd have to then upgrade to uh, Viceroy before you could actually go there. But you could bypass the Beanstalk, at least initially. May not be the best choice because that that shadow trap certainly helps. Um, but if you wanted to just you know experience the school of sorcery first, that is a viable path. Maybe a unique journey to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, YX asking if we'll extend the spring egg hunt by two hours because of uh, a little bit of server maintenance. <laughs> I mean, there, there's no plans to do that, and you know we appreciate your patience, and hopefully that that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It is one of the longest events. Uh, in the game and uh, you know just with the m1000 and the school of sorcery scheduled in there as well we wouldn't want to postpone those uh, those areas so hopefully you know we appreciate everyone's understanding there and you know some things happen but over the course of a four-week event hopefully you know a few hunts here and there isn't that big of a deal so amazing you can speak without moving your mouth at all my camera froze here we go <laughs> Oh, well, I think I need a new camera. I think mine's dying. I think it's slowly succumbing to heat exhaustion. Uh, Fernando well, asking, why is the marketplace camera. closed? We are looking at just doing a little bit of maintenance there. So when we're done, it'll open back up. All your stuff will be there. Well, before we wrap up, any final sentiments, Norm? Um, no, just that, you know, I'm... Um, really looking forward to everyone uh, getting a chance to try the School of Sorcery. We've, uh, you know, we originally completed it back in October. So, you know, it's something that's been sort of sitting for quite some time that it's, uh, it's, it's been a long journey that I'm, I'm finally, uh, I'm really excited to see it finally see the light of day uh, and everyone to, to get their hands on. So it's uh, a, bit, a unique experience in that sense to sort of know about this for so long. And, uh, but uh, yeah, so really looking forward to April 23. Uh, yeah, and Jacob, I guess will, you will be doing Art Feedback Friday next week. I shall. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say watch out for Deborah, the, the safety dragon. Uh, you know, don't run in the hallways. Uh, get to class on time. You know, be a good student. You'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. You need a hall Have pass fun with you it, need to use the I'm excited to, to get into it. Uh, also, yeah, like, did a lot of testing... Uh, over a long period of time, and I can't wait to actually play it proper. So, it's a very different experience. <laughs> we get to play it for real. Yeah, that's for sure. So, <laughs> yeah, it always feels different. Over the years, we get a little bit of intuition, but uh, it's just it's impossible to replicate the sensation of taking months to go through something. You know. All right, fantastic. Well, we'll wrap things up here, and I'll just be an ominous voice in the distance as. Uh, <laughs> As my camera decided to quit, but uh, Norm, 
Jacob, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for helping out. Thanks for having My us pleasure. teach. It was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I shall see everybody next week. So, all right. Indeed. All right. Happy hunting, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, and again, April, mark on your calendar, April 16 for the M1000. And I'm going to say the wrong date. Norm, what date is the school sorcery? April 23rd. April 23. That was in my mind. I just don't trust myself. What can I say? <laughs> Have a fantastic I, weekend. I was really curious to see what number was going to come out. What year, though, Dave? Pop quiz. Which year? 2097.8. I don't know. 20, 20, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's over for me. Point eight. Is it a star date? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going Captain's log. All right. Have a fantastic yeah. weekend. Happy hunting. Uh, you'll Catch see you Jacob later, next everyone. week. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. trap don't seem to mind it you attract me i'm a mouse you're a cat i don't seem to mind it soft and furry oh and just when i think i'm safe snap turns out i'm never safe snap just when you think you're safe, snap. I come back, I come back. You don't seem to mind it. But I'm a fool. Broke my back, broke my back. You don't seem to mind it. Cause you're so When I think I'm safe, snap Turns out I'm never safe, snap Ooh. Just when you think you're safe, snap Turns out I'm